Hey, hi, this is Gaurav from Auxilo and today is the 15th of September and we are celebrating World Engineering Day, uh, which is why we have got with us Rohit Chavan, an engineer, Indian student engineer from Canada. So hi Rohit, if you could, uh, you know, introduce yourself uh, to our viewers, that would be great. Yeah, of course. Uh, hi everyone. Now, uh, this is uh, Rohit. I'm from Mumbai basically and I came here in Canada in the year 2021 in January so that it was winter and uh, I came here for my course called construction management. Right so uh, where basically in Canada? Uh, so basically I landed in Toronto so from there my college is located in a city called London not the UK London in besides Toronto. Uh, which is 200 kilometers and uh, so the, my college was there so from there we uh, planned to stay in London itself. Great, great. So 2021 in January that would be winters like so what was how was that exactly. all about like coming from Mumbai uh, directly landed in like the winters of Canada? Yeah exactly so we all know uh, about the temperature in Canada and it, the weather here is it's, it's really uncertain and so of course yeah when while we were landing it was already a storm and it was uh, complete snow and yes so uh, before we come to Canada we have to plan all these things so we were uh, well suited up with the thermals and jackets uh, while we were landing okay Great. And so, uh, logically, my next question to you would be like, why did you select Canada and what like, college did you choose and why did you particularly choose that college and also what course are you pursuing right now? Okay, uh, so uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be glorifying my journey very much. Uh, I've had a lot of... I've, uh, lot of ups and downs in this journey so basically uh, me selecting uh, Canada was just because Canada is one of the largest countries land wise and so right. I just uh, I just thought that this country might have uh, might have a lot of opportunities as its uh, infrastructure is growing and so of course we know the Indian market is completely saturated and it's very hard to get good jobs and start your career well, uh, being a civil engineer. So yes, I decided okay. to uh, come to Canada. And plus the courses here, they offer really cheaply. I mean, as compared to the university courses, of course, uh, if you go to Australia or US, so there are only universities out there. So the universities, the expenses go more than 50 lakhs. And uh, I chose Canada because, uh, I mean, I just paid like 20 lakhs. Uh, for my college and uh, basically we all come here to earn. Okay, so uh, uh, you chose, even in Canada, you chose like a community college, right? If I'm not wrong. Yeah, it you can call more of a community college, like a local college, but it's okay. not local anymore. But uh, yeah, it's a community college and uh, it, it offers, uh, the courses are good. I mean, it, it has a, a wide variety of uh, And what course courses. are you studying? Uh, I'm I'm studying construction management, construction okay. project management. So would you say that is like a core engineering course that you're pursuing? Oh, not at all. I studied eight years of engineering in India. And this course, it was just, they offered it just for eight months. So it was just okay. eight months course. So basically it was a project management course and they just uh, teach you to uh, like a uh, use of uh, um, more of uh, civil engineering related applications and uh, the necessary laws which you need to study here in Canada relating okay. to engineering. Got yeah. it, got it. Okay. So uh, they don't teach exactly, so there's nothing technical, the general engineering. Okay. Also could one of the reasons be, so what from what you're saying, I get that Basically, you came to Canada to earn, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, if I really wanted to study, I would have surely gone for uh, United States as uh, in a in a better university. 
and uh, yeah the you need to have you need to have very good uh, education background to get an admission here in canada in a university because us accepts canada doesn't do. so exactly i see two parallels here right you know like uh, we have a university on one side and you have a college on one side so if you want to get a good education uh, you go to a university and the college uh, folks uh, are there to earn money because of the flexible uh, work visa rules that you guys get as compared to the US oh absolutely absolutely people are just coming here and just taking these courses so basically canada offers 3 years of work permit on 2 years of course i mean that uh, two years even that is like just 8 8 months of two courses basically or maybe the maximum okay. it goes up to 16 months so so for 16 months of co- of a course you are getting 3 years of good work permit so basically uh, it's a scheme it's a scheme okay. offered by canada they are getting well educated uh, engineers and uh, like uh, engineers and architects uh, and uh, even people who have studied at a better level they are just getting it to do these courses which is uh, far more away i mean it's far away from what we studied at the level is really low so it's basically okay uh, yeah so basically we don't study at, at all and we just <laughs> we just uh, keep working and earn okay so uh, uh, and how valuable is your degree like that you had you studied engineering from india from mumbai yeah. university i'm guessing and so how valuable is your degree does it hold any importance when you go to canada yeah of course i mean you will get these uh, the admission in your courses only when you are i mean you have a proper degree so right. uh, like it's not just that anybody can just come up in canada and take a course you need to have uh, a certified degree with you and uh, plus you need to have a decent great so that uh, the colleges are accepting and of course you have to give the necessary ielts exam to get better scores and though it is not very okay. difficult but yeah but a uh, but a decent level okay no i was uh, i was talking uh, like the you know the pertinence of your degree uh, uh, when it comes to like the job scenario like when you go out to find a job so does your previous degree like your indian degree matter as much that's what i was getting at to be honest i mean may be important at some point but to be honest uh, the employers here i mean canada doesn't give any uh, value to your education i mean uh, but if your the previous employer, education right yeah your previous education and yeah. uh, yes i mean but your work okay. experience matters here the most to get a good job and okay. education um a good education from uh, uh, a good college here in canada can land you with your uh, with a good co- uh, with a good job so i was going to ask you what all odd jobs have you done thus far oh that like that's that's, that's a great story i mean so basically why people work here is see in to be honest you are coming in canada in just 15 lakhs that's not a big right deal. so okay. The the total expense of the whole education year is somewhere around twenty to twenty three lakhs. So, when people come here, like the students come here, so they they want to work forty hours so that they can earn and make money to pay their fees. So basically, uh, they want to be in a position to self finance their course. Exactly. So, uh, so they work a lot. They work. I mean, lot of these odd jobs on cash on. like various other means of uh, working and <clears throat> uh, so yeah they come and they just work they just keep working like i was one of them so my story even i came here so for me that whole course was very simple so i never studied uh, <clears throat> so that's what i did i wanted to pay for my next course so i came here i started working as uh, delivery drivers i worked in a pizza shop i worked <laughs> I worked in restaurants, so it was at a it was a pretty struggling phase. But yeah, you get rewarded with good money, and you end up paying your fees as well. Yeah, that's a good thing. So uh, that's a good flexible flexible option as compared to the USA, where exactly. you know you get to 
be a bit and, independent as regard to your finances and you could you know finance your own studies exactly and uh, plus but wouldn't uh, you say uh, it uh, has a drawback i mean you basically went there to study and not to work so doesn't that affect your work life balance or work study balance so, yeah so as i said i mean these courses to be honest i would have never done this course in my whole life if you have offered me a course in university <laughs> and you would have paid right. my fees these courses are to be honest as i said are are more of job oriented and not really a core and core core field studies so they are just uh, like local courses to land you up in job to be honest it doesn't affect the study work balance at all people if people i guess 90% of the people here know to how, how to manage those things and okay. uh, they yeah so i don't think so there's any problem uh, in balancing those things uh, unless and until there's too much pressure from the college also i have heard about you know these co-op schools that you guys go to which is also a supplementary which is kind of an internship uh, sort of thing if you could shed yeah. some light on that oh uh, yeah of course uh, as i said i mean the the colleges are not bad here the colleges are good they offer good they offer good education and uh, <clears throat> so few colleges uh, offer like um, co-ops as well uh, we can also call as that internship uh, and so <clears throat> yeah and if a student gets a uh, a good internship uh, the company offers them a good job after their uh, internship is over so it's benef- uh, it, it's good for a lot of students i mean uh, i mean other than do- doing odd jobs if you crack these internships and uh, uh, take good courses uh, the employers will surely uh, hire you like the uh, you you will end up uh, uh, getting yourself a very good job okay and to land this job like uh, how important is networking and you know your linkedin and other like social uh, you know platforms that you would use to <clears throat> advantage so when i came here so this the overall i'll tell you when my my whole course was my whole education was just for 18 16 months after working for or working odd jobs in this 16 months i mean we come to know a lot of things i mean first of all uh you have to get into your field of interest so you have to get a good job and uh, yeah while working throughout this 18 months you make a lot of contacts with the local canadian people so rohit uh after your you know after you've done with your construction management course so how do you see yourself getting you know employed in canada or do you plan to work in canada and like if and if you do how does one get a good job after completion of such course thanks for asking that question uh, so recently i just landed in a good job uh, so congratulations yeah so there's a journey to it as well so 16 months of college i mean i have just an odd job all these things i knew before i coming to canada i knew i was going to do odd jobs because that's the process so uh, because we are just allowed to work 20 hours so nobody is going to give you a full time job <clears throat> and especially in your uh, the field of interest so uh, so how did i land up in my job so basically uh, so you got a job to, uh, pertain, pertaining to your own course i believe uh, i already had 6 months of experience back in india so yeah that helped me above and all uh, you have uh, social platforms like linkedin and indeed and many other monster.com or uh, zip recruiter or something like that but i prefer i always preferred linkedin it's very professional to get uh, see if you want if you want to take odd jobs it's better you go through linkedin i mean sorry indeed so for any kinds of odd jobs or local jobs you go for indeed but if you want to get yourself landed in a good professional job then i believe linkedin is the platform uh, so rohit after like uh, you know after hearing your thoughts i feel uh, networking is obviously a very important factor Uh, as much as education is like networking within your community yep. mm-hmm. a lot 
uh, to a certain extent i would say luck too uh, so all these factors are quite important if you want to like settle in canada and uh, if you like yourself how you find a job so uh, now that you've got a job like what does the future look like for rohit i got a job which is 3000 kilometers away from where i'm staying right now <laughs> Okay. So that's a story here. The job opportunities in your specific field or what you want, you are not going to get it very easily. Basically, uh, so as I said, I have to shift to uh, my for, for my first job. I have to shift to three thousand kilometers. So that's okay. the struggle. Str- yeah, that's the struggle for the first job, and especially in the field of your interest. Uh, Uh, you have to make these adjustments and sacrifices uh, the employers uh, need canadian work experience so basically they are going to take canadian people who have canadian experiences in my uh, construction industry uh, this is this is the way it goes but uh, i guess uh, people from it they get job easily so i mean if you come if you have indian experience and even if you do a single course here you are going to you are going to land up with a good job especially in it so your rest, uh, restrictions canada is going to give pr it, it has a lot of changes in the rules these days uh, they are being more specific you have to if you want to have a pr so you have to get a job in the field of what you have studied a lot of people uh, maybe in the hunt of pr they do a job <laughs> which is not the field of interest or whether they have not studied but to get the pr people do like that. and uh, i believe uh, i should be getting that in a year or two also on a lighter note uh, since it's engineering day uh, tell me who's your favorite engineer my favorite engineer is my brother nishan chawan <laughs> all right all right <laughs> and uh, any famous engineer that we might know of uh, i mean do people really know engineers by name they are not listeners i I do a few like I do Ajit Prem ji Satyanandela Yeah like, so to be honest if if, if you are talking about an engineer then of course APJ uh, Abdul Kalam So Rohit before you go please uh, you know enlighten our students our viewers who want to come to Canada who are looking to settle in Canada like give us a few tips top tips that you uh, might have My tips to all students in India would be भाई लोग जब इधर आ रहे हो तो भाई मेहनत करो दबा के पैसे कमाओ अगर ये सब कोर्स ले रहे हो टेकिंग जस्ट अर्न मनी एंड पे ऑफ कॉलेज फीस एंड हंड फॉर बेटर जॉब्स डोंट जस्ट डू लेबर जॉब्स हंड फॉर बेटर जॉब्स एंड वर्क स्मार्टली जब मेहनत कर भी रहो ऐसा ही मत की जस्ट हॉग वर्क carefully and with the proper management you will sab log ko achhi job milegi bas thoda apne aap ko khud ko manage karo aur acche contacts ban basic bahut acche contacts banao sab sahi ho jayega thoda starting mein struggle hoga but work sab theek karega everything will be good at the end of the day all right rohit i guess uh, that's all the time we have for today and uh, how was your experience tell me about it chatting with oxilo thanks for of course uh, giving me this platform to share my experiences basically sure, i sure. just want i mean uh, indian students to uh, come to know that uh, it's not what you are thinking it's really tough out there okay. that's it yeah i mean but himmat rakho all right all right all right thank you for that and i hope our viewers enjoyed our candid chat with an engineer on world engineering day so that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one thank you rohit thanks bye